Welcome to AI Talking Head. Laser communication known for its high data transmission rates and secure communication channels is at the forefront of advancements in military communication strategies. Laser communication systems use light to transmit data, offering significant advantages over traditional radio frequency communications. These include higher bandwidth, which allows for faster data transfer, and a reduced risk of interception, enhancing the security of communications. This shift towards laser communication technology could significantly alter the landscape of military operations, providing forces with the ability to transmit vast amounts of data, including high-definition video and sensor data, in real-time and with a lower risk of detection or interference. This could potentially transform tactics in areas such as reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition, making laser communication a game-changer in modern military communications. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. In recent years, China has been making significant strides in the development and deployment of advanced satellite technology. Among these advancements, there is growing interest and speculation surrounding China's secret naval laser communication satellites. These satellites are part of a broader initiative to enhance China's capabilities in secure and high-speed communication, particularly for its military operations. Laser communication satellites utilize optical communications, which involve the transmission of data using light. This method offers several advantages over traditional radio frequency RF, communications, including higher bandwidth and lower latency. These features are crucial for modern warfare, where real-time data exchange and secure communication are paramount. The significance of China's naval laser communication satellites lies in their potential to revolutionize military communications. By employing laser technology, these satellites can transmit vast amounts of data, including high-definition video and sensor feeds, at speeds much faster than conventional satellite communications. This capability enhances situational awareness for naval forces, allowing for quicker decision-making and more effective coordination among units. Moreover, laser communication is inherently more secure than RF communication. The narrow beam width of laser signals reduces the risk of interception, making it challenging for adversaries to eavesdrop on transmissions. This security feature is particularly important for naval operations, where maintaining the element of surprise and protecting sensitive information can be the difference between success and failure. China's investment in this technology underscores its strategic ambition to lead in military innovation and to ensure that its armed forces have access to the most advanced communication capabilities. As China continues to develop its laser communication satellite network, it is likely to gain an edge in both peacetime operations and potential conflict scenarios, reinforcing its position as a major player in global military communications. Traditional communication methods, particularly those relying on RF waves, face several challenges in naval operations. These challenges can significantly impact the effectiveness of communication, which is crucial for the coordination and success of naval missions. Some of the key challenges include 1. Interference. RF communications are susceptible to various forms of interference, which can disrupt or degrade the quality of the signal. Sources of interference can include a. Atmospheric conditions. Weather phenomena such as storms can interfere with RF signals. b. Electronic warfare. Adversaries may use jamming equipment to intentionally disrupt communications. c. Other electronic devices. Both onboard and external devices can unintentionally interfere with RF communications. 2. Bandwidth limitations. Traditional RF communications often have limited bandwidth, which can restrict the amount of data that can be transmitted within a given time. This limitation is particularly problematic in modern naval operations, where a. High-resolution data. The need for high-resolution imagery and sensor data requires significant bandwidth for effective transmission. b. Multiple communication channels. The demand for simultaneous voice, data, and video transmission necessitates higher bandwidth capabilities. 3. Latency. The time it takes for a signal to travel from the transmitter to the receiver, and back, if applicable, can be a critical factor in naval communications. 
High latency can a. Delay critical information. Slow down the transmission of critical information, such as real-time tactical data. b. Effect responsiveness. Reduce the responsiveness of communication systems, which is essential for rapid decision-making in naval operations. 4. Security concerns. Traditional RF communications can be vulnerable to interception and decoding, which poses a significant risk. a. Eavesdropping. Enemy forces can potentially intercept RF communications, compromising operational security. b. Lack of encryption. Without robust encryption, sensitive information can be easily accessed by unauthorized parties. 5. Scalability. As naval fleets expand and operate in more complex environments, the need for scalable communication systems becomes evident. Traditional systems may not be easily scalable to accommodate growing fleets and increasing data demands. 6. Line of sight requirements. Many RF communications, especially those used for longer distances, require a clear line of sight between the transmitter and receiver. This can be challenging in maritime environments where the curvature of the earth and obstacles like islands or other vessels can block the signal path. Laser communication, also known as free space optical communication FSO, uses light to transmit data through the atmosphere or vacuum of space. It operates on the principle of sending and receiving modulated laser beams that carry information. Here's how it works and its advantages over radio waves, along with the specific technologies China is developing for its naval forces. How laser communication works. Information is encoded into the laser beam by modulating one or more of its properties, such as amplitude, frequency, or phase. The modulated laser beam is then sent through the air towards the receiver. At the receiving end, a photodetector converts the light signals back into electrical signals, which are then demodulated to retrieve the original information. Advantages over radio waves Laser communication can achieve much higher data rates than RF communications due to the shorter wavelength of light. This allows for the transmission of large amounts of data, such as high-definition video and sensor data, in real-time. Because of the higher frequencies used, the size of the required antennas, or apertures, for laser communication can be significantly smaller than those for RF communication at equivalent data rates. The narrow beam width of laser signals reduces the risk of interception, making it challenging for adversaries to eavesdrop on transmissions. This inherent feature enhances the security of communications. The speed of light in air is very close to its speed in a vacuum, meaning that laser communication experiences minimal latency, which is crucial for real-time operations. China's Naval Laser Communication Technologies China has been actively developing laser communication technologies for its naval forces, focusing on both strategic and tactical applications. 1. Satellite-to-ship communication. China is working on satellite systems that can establish high-speed, secure laser links with naval vessels. This ensures that even ships at sea can benefit from the high data rates and security of laser communication. 2. Inter-ship communication. Beyond satellite communication, China is also exploring laser communication systems for direct ship-to-ship -ship data transfer. This would allow for rapid exchange of tactical information within a fleet, enhancing coordination and responsiveness. 3. Air-to-sea and space-to-sea integration. Integrating laser communication into China's naval forces also involves the ability to communicate with aircraft and satellites. This creates a comprehensive network that can support a wide range of operations, from surveillance to command and control. China's advancements in laser communication technology are part of a broader strategy to modernize its military capabilities. By developing these technologies, China aims to overcome the limitations of traditional RF communication, such as interference, bandwidth constraints, and security vulnerabilities. The focus on laser communication reflects a forward-looking approach to ensure that its naval forces can operate effectively in contested environments and maintain a technological edge. The advancements in laser communication technology by China, particularly for its naval forces, have significant implications for global naval power dynamics and raise potential security concerns for other nations. Here are some of the key implications and concerns. One. Strategic communication advantage. 
China's development of laser communication systems gives it a strategic advantage in terms of secure and high-speed communication. This could lead to more effective command and control, enhancing the operational capabilities of its naval forces. 2. Information superiority. With the ability to transmit large volumes of data quickly and securely, China could achieve information superiority. This means having a more comprehensive and accurate understanding of the operational environment, which is crucial for gaining and maintaining the upper hand in conflicts. 3. Anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, challenges. Other nations, especially those with interests in the Asia-Pacific region, may find it more challenging to operate in areas where China can effectively use its advanced communication networks. This could strengthen China's A2, AD capabilities, making it harder for foreign naval forces to access or maneuver within certain areas. 4. Electronic Warfare Dynamics the shift towards laser communication could alter the dynamics of electronic warfare. Traditional methods of jamming and signal interception may become less effective, necessitating the development of new countermeasures and tactics. 5. Surveillance and Intelligence Gathering Enhanced communication capabilities could improve China's surveillance and intelligence gathering activities, allowing for more efficient collection and analysis of data on other nations' naval activities. 6. Deterrence and escalation. The high security aspect of laser communication could reduce the risk of unintended escalation due to misinterpretation of signals. However, it could also embolden a state to take more assertive actions under the belief that its communications are invulnerable. 7. Arms race and technological response. Other nations may feel compelled to accelerate their own research and development in laser communication and related technologies to keep pace with China. This could lead to an arms race in naval communication technologies, driving up military spending and potentially exacerbating regional tensions. 8. Cybersecurity and Counterspace Capabilities Recognizing the limitations of traditional methods against laser communication, nations may invest in new forms of cyber and space capabilities, such as directed energy weapons or advanced satellite surveillance, to target enemy communication satellites or networks. 9. Diplomatic and strategic realignments. The shift in naval power dynamics could lead to realignments in diplomatic and strategic partnerships. Nations may seek new alliances or strengthen existing ones to counterbalance China's growing naval capabilities. 10. International law and norms. The development of new technologies may also prompt discussions and potential revisions to international law and norms regarding the use of military technologies in space and international waters. The discussion highlights the rapid advancements in China's satellite technology, particularly focusing on its secret naval laser communication satellites. These developments are significant as they could revolutionize military operations and communication, offering China a strategic edge in terms of data transmission speed, security, and operational coordination. The advantages of laser communication over traditional radio frequency methods include higher bandwidth, lower latency, and increased security, which are crucial for modern naval operations. China's investment in these technologies has implications for global naval power dynamics, potentially altering the balance of power and influencing the strategies of other nations. The development of laser communication satellites could enhance China's anti-access, area denial capabilities, improve its information superiority, and strengthen its position in electronic warfare. If you like the content in this episode, Please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military technology advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.